welcome to another thrill-packed episode of Action GBX. This month, we take a look at Crash Bandicoot XS. It's looking really good, and now you can see it in action. The long-awaited Tekken Advance is also reviewed, as is Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3 and Dark Arena. We've also got exclusive footage of King of Fighters EX Neo Blood and Advance Rally. From the people that brought us GT Advance comes Advance Rally, a new, improved racer that looks set to take the GBA by storm. The development team has added hills to the game engine, giving a more realistic ride. They've also beefed up the suspension system, allowing for skids and rolls. There's more trackside detail on offer than in GT Advance 2. Advance Rally is already out in Japan and includes a battery save. When GT Advance was brought over here, the battery was removed and replaced with a password system. Let's hope they don't do that again. SNK has a sizable cult following over here, and its Neo Geo fighting series, King of Fighters, is coming to the GBA. The plot for the advanced game is set between King of Fighters 97 and 99, and is totally original. King of Fighters EX Neo Blood will only ever appear on the advance. King of Fighters EX Neo Blood is already out in Japan, but no UK publisher has picked it up. You could probably find a copy on import, though we reckon it's bound to be released over here soon. Want to know what's the coolest piece of kit for Game Boy Advance this summer? Then get your hands on Action Replay GBX, the all-in-one gaming solution that will make you the envy of your friends. Take control of your games collection by arming yourself with infinite lives, ammunition, health, and much more. Action Replay GBX comes preloaded with tons of cheats for all your favorite Game Boy Advance games. Using Action Replay GBX is a piece of cake. The cartridge simply slots into the back of your Game Boy Advance. Plug in any Game Boy Advance game and get ready to show them who's boss. Just bought a brand new game? No problem. You'll find the very latest Action Replay codes in GBX magazine on www.codejunkies.com or by calling the Code Junkies hotline. You can enter new codes quickly and easily. So, what are you waiting for? Put the power in your hands today with Action Replay GBX, the ultimate cheat cartridge for Game Boy Advance. Graphic adventure Broken Sword, The Shadow of the Templars was a huge hit on the PlayStation and the PC, and now it's coming to the GBA. But how did they squeeze the mouse-driven control system into our handheld? We asked the game's producer, Tony Warriner. It's absolutely true to the original, because we've got all of the locations, all of the characters, uh, the music's the same. All the locations are there, so it's a really faithful um, reproduction of the original game. On the original, it was like a two-CD PC game. We've managed to squeeze it into the GBA. It's an eight-megabyte cartridge, which is pretty unusual. Most of them are just uh, four-megabyte. Instead of just doing a port like we did uh, on, the, on the PSX version, we, we really decided to throw away the whole interface from the original game and, and completely redesign it from scratch. You take direct control of George and you can walk him about, and as you walk him up to objects, you, uh, you get an icon saying what you can do. So it's uh, much more intuitive and you're much closer to the game than the originals, so I think it works much better, in fact. The plot involves George, who is a student from America, who's on holiday in Paris and uh, he's sitting outside a cafe one day when uh, a clown runs past him carrying an accordion. He runs into, the, uh, into a cafe, drops a bomb, steals a suitcase and uh, runs away and then the cafe explodes and George is kind of caught in the middle of that and uh, he, he then meets up with a photojournalist investigating it and uh, they have to go off and, and solve the mystery of what was going on. The player can uh, he can walk about, he can talk to people, he can pick up items that he finds, he can combine those items into new, into new objects, 
uh, by joining them together. He can then use those objects on other objects in the background, and by doing all these things in the right order, he uh, solves the mystery and solves the puzzles. One example is you're, you're investigating a hotel, and you, you find a secret manuscript that's hidden there and there are some folks outside the hotel and they're waiting, they know it's there, so they're waiting for everybody that leaving the hotel and they check them, they, they rough them up and check they're not carrying this manuscript that they're after. And uh, the way to do it, the way to solve it is to uh, find, a, find a, an empty room, climb out onto the ledge, drop the manuscript into the street below, then escape out the front and they, and they search you but they don't find the manuscript. So then you, uh, having outwitted them, root off around the back, pick up the manuscript you dropped earlier and uh, make your escape. Uh, yeah, well, there was a sequel made on the PC, so uh, we're certainly looking at uh, c converting that game to the uh, Game Boy Advance as well. Email has revolutionized the way we communicate with other people. Now you can email your friends anywhere in the world using your Game Boy Advance or Game Boy Color. Yes, it's true. Worldport is an amazing all-in-one email solution that lets you send and receive emails using your handheld. It's easy to use, too. It simply plugs into your Game Boy Advance or Color like a regular game cartridge. Create your very own email account, then compose your emails on screen using Worldport's virtual keyboard. When you're ready to send your message, just connect Worldport to any telephone socket using the cable provided. You can email anyone else with any type of email account. But that's not all. Worldport is also a powerful personal organizer. Keep track of important birthdays and appointments using the calendar and diary. And store all your favorite email addresses in Worldport's virtual address book. Just hit a button to start emailing a friend. Worldport costs £24.99 in the shops. But thanks to GBX magazine, you can save an incredible £10 off this price for a limited period only. Just call 08456 010015 and say, Sakura says give me £10 off a Worldport. Or visit www.d3world.com to order on the internet using our 100% secure server. But hurry, this fantastic offer must end on September the 30th, 2001. We've got a great Crash Bandicoot competition for you. To celebrate the launch of the amazing Crash Bandicoot XS on the Game Boy Advance, Vivendi has given us five copies of the game and five Game Boy Advances to give away. That's right, our five lucky winners will not only take home a copy of Crash Bandicoot XS, but also a GBA to play it on. To stand a chance of winning, just answer this simple question. What sort of animal is a bandicoot? Is it A, a fish, B, a bird, or C, a marsupial? When you think you know the answer, call the competition line on 09064 774478 and follow the online instructions or enter via our website on www.gbxstream.co.uk. Calls cost 60p a minute at all times, so get permission from whoever pays the bills before you dial. You'll be asked for your answer and for your name and address. The competition runs from the 6th of March to midnight on the 2nd of April. Winners will be picked at random by our computer. The marvellous marsupial is coming to the advance, and we love it. Crash Bandicoot's advance debut is a whole new game, but its playability is very faithful to the PSX games. The levels he must explore are instantly recognisable as Crash's world, and his movement and controls are familiar to his fans from the big consoles. It's incredible how much has been crammed in. Crash has over a thousand frames of animation, and the game is huge, boasting 20 levels, hidden sections and time trial modes. There are so many secrets and hidden gems, if you play through the game from start to finish, it's only 33% complete. All in all, it's an amazing achievement and a great game to boot. We're a bit hot and cold about this one. It's almost brilliant, but a serious design flaw brings it down. 
The graphics are lush, and there's a fistful of single-player and multiplayer modes on offer. But unfortunately, the developers cut the control system in half. Instead of using four attack buttons for right and left kicks and punches, we now have one punch button and one kick button. This oversimplifies the action, turning the game into a button masher. It's not a bad fighter by any means, but it isn't up there with the advanced version of Street Fighter. If this had been a GBA launch title and the first first-person shooter on the machine, it would be very well received. Unfortunately, there are already three out there, and two of them are better than Dark Arena. The game's 3D engine is fast and efficient, but the gameplay is pure doom. Switches, door keys, secret areas, even the monsters look like dooms. Dark Arena's other problem is it lacks the seat-of-your-pants tightness of doom and the strategic intensity of X versus Sever. It's a good game, but overshadowed by two better ones. Ah, oh, this one's just so cute. Toki Tori is a little chick who must rescue some eggs spread across 60 puzzle-filled levels. You must find the correct route through each level, rescuing every egg before you move on. You've ten different tools at your disposal, but only in limited quantities. For example, you might use a bridge tool to cover a gap, or a teleport tool to beam through a wall. Take care, use the wrong tool in the wrong place, and you're stuck. Toki Tori is arguably the most addictive save em up since Lemmings, and a real triumph on the Game Boy Color. If you thought Tony Hawk's 2 was good, just wait until you see Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3. They've really gone to town on this one. The levels are bigger, the graphics are better, and you can even design your own skater. Best of all, they've included a multiplayer mode, where you can compete against three of your mates over the link cable or on a single machine. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3 actually improves on an all-time classic. It's a must for extreme sports fans. In Super Mario Advance 2, Yoshi is your greatest ally. There's a whole range of things he can do. Yoshi simply runs off after you've been hit while riding him, allowing you to take an extra hit. He can also jump on dangerous objects like spiny cacti without being hurt. Yoshi can capture enemies with his tongue. He usually swallows them, but if it has a shell, interesting effects can occur depending on Yoshi's color. When green Yoshi swallows up a creature with a blue, yellow or red shell, he changes color to match. When Blue Yoshi chomps a baddie, he sprouts wings and is able to fly for several seconds. After chewing up a foe, Yellow Yoshi has the ability to stomp very hard on anything below him. When Red Yoshi chomps an enemy, he can spit three large fireballs back at the enemies he's facing. To dismount, press R to execute a spin jump. This is very useful for jumping further than you could on your own. In places, this can lead to bonuses. For example, on the bridge in the fourth world, you can find a secret level by ditching Yoshi and spin jumping to a previously unreachable ledge. That's all for this month. Stay tuned for the next exciting episode of Action GBX. We've some great games in store for you.